Hi you guys, happy homebrew Wednesday. I'm going to review a beer sent to me by Hoppy Brewer UK. This is a Hophead American Pale Ale. 5.3% ABV. So, let's open her up. Smells quite hoppy. He tells me this has been aging for a while. It smells like caramel. You have to tell me what hops you used, Gavin, because. Now, I don't know if this is an all grain or not. It must be, because I don't think he's, he does kits anymore. But, it's got like a kit taste to it. It's not offensive, it's a nice beer, full of flavour, dark colour on it, it is as dark as it, as it is on the camera, this one it's, it's picked up correctly, it tastes like something else that I've had before but I can't think what. It'll probably come to me when I finish the video, but nice beer, Gav. Nice beer. Um, what have I got going on? I did a brew at the weekend. I did a flowers IPA. Funnily enough, um, it's a low alcohol beer. I think it's about three point. Seven, something like that. Um, providing I've hit my numbers, it will be that three point seven, three point six, something like that. Thought I'd give it a go because I also did a Flowers Original, which is a beer that you cannot buy now. They it used to be in all the shops around London. Um, I used to buy it in pubs and in tins when and Tesco's used to do it, but all of a sudden they stopped selling it. I think it was sold off to one of the big four and it's not made anymore which is you know story of beer I think in London making a comeback a lot of small breweries coming back making some really good beer um, I think I read on the internet that it's, so, it's made by somebody in Woodhouse or something brewed under their license somewhere but it's not around here so I thought I'd make a Flowers original, give it a go. Um, in my last Homebrew Wednesday video I said I had some problems with cloudiness in beers. And a hockey player from America, he got it right, he said it was uh, possibly chill haze. So I turned the fridge down a little bit and no chill haze at all. Um, when I was doing my brew at the weekend... Um, having a few beers while I was doing it, I was drinking a Fuller's Discovery clone that I did, and I finished the brew, went to pour myself another beer, and he got the horrible gurgling sound. I'd emptied the keg, gone, and I don't remember drinking. I don't remember drinking all of it, if I'm honest. But and there's no one else here that drinks it, only me. So I must have done. So me IPA that I'm brewing, that I brewed at the weekend, that can go in to my corny keg, which means I've got lots of bottles left, empties, so I think I'll be brewing again within a week or two, 
fill them up. So I've got plenty, plenty of beer to drink. Um, so I'm going to have a go at this. Tastes like I did a kit beer once and it tasted very much like that. I think it was Milestones Lion Pride, if, I'm, if my memory is right. It tastes like Lion's Pride, very nice. Uh, shout out to Harry Brew 69. Uh, enjoying your vids, bruv, really am. I'd love to have a setup like you, especially the taps. But I ain't got the patience for all that. All the way down your garden, all them tubes and oh nah. Fridge tap. That's me. I'll have some of that. Maybe in a in a year or two I'll get some taps fitted to the front of my fridge and turn it into a proper kegerator so I can fit two kegs in it and have the uh, CO2 on the outside. Uh, shout out as Hobby Brewer UK, obviously. Cheers, Gavin. Thank you for sending me the beers. If you feel like sending me a Brimbo beer, I'll have one of them. That'll be good. I'll review that for you. And I will, if I can, I'll bottle one of these. I'll, I'll send you one of the Flowers Originals, Gav, if you want. Let me know in the comments if you want one. And I'll box up a couple of beers and I'll send them off to you. Um, I haven't got much else going on, so happy homebrew Wednesday, and as SJ Paul would say, enjoy the fruits of your labour, brew beer, thanks guys.